Alright, so I made a couple of errors in the last video. They didn't have any impact on the glitch. The glitch was still in evidence. If you were actually paying attention to the ships as they came out, which ships they were, and how many alloys I was gaining, it wasn't too hard to see, but that does require some effort, some math work, and even I'm too lazy to go into that much trouble, so how can I really hold people against that whole thing? So. Let's just show from scratch, the very beginning of the game, how impactful this is. Because this is where it really gets OP. Yes, at the end of the game when you've got hundreds and hundreds of ships, you're going to be getting a lot more alloys because you've got more ships to upgrade. But the fact is that you can do this right from the start of the game to speed up the fact or speed up the point at which you get thousands of ships or hundreds of ships however many you're going to end up with so let's first see how the game spec my ships in. and take off auto generate so if they've got me with pickets terrible choice but the game is the game we will get our corvettes to all be a little bit quicker and easier to flip between specs. So I've got 11 alloy income, got three Corvettes, January 1st. The cost for this upgrade should be 85 alloys, which would bring me down to 15, and it did. So that much is working properly, cool. But only that much is working properly. So we'll start the clock. I don't think it's going to take a month for all three of these ships to upgrade, which means I should have them done before my first income. We'll speed it up. I think it's going to take more than a month, but the first ship will be done first. So look at that. The first ship comes off the line, and I go from 15 alloys to 71 alloys. Despite the fact this was an upgrade, I increased my alloys. Let's just keep going. Ship number two. Oh, suddenly I can build another ship. Let's pause it. And build another ship. Take full advantage of this. Our ships have been made superior. Uh, it just feels weird listening to a Klingon. So let's go with scum. the awesome xenophobe. So my first ship is coming out. And then I will have four ships to upgrade. It's at about this time that I can go to change this to a shipyard to increase the speed at which my ships upgrade. Construction complete. Excellent. So it's May now. I'm up to 81 alloys with a free ship and some rather pointless upgrades. I'll delete your basic. Now let's change this to the mass drivers. We'll leave the armor for now. So the cost should be 35 alloys, and it's about 35 alloys. So again, the initial cost is working properly. Ooh, but I suddenly jumped even before the first ship came off the line. Not sure what happened. Jumped again when the ships come off the line. Well, there's two different jumps. One every time a ship comes off the line, and one shortly after you spent the initial cost. There may be others as well. I am a little too lazy to delve into this as much as I could.
bit more than halfway through the first year. I've gained myself a few hundred free alloys. And all I've had to do is switch between the artillery and the energy. I'm going to do this a number of times to show just how much it doesn't matter whether you're upgrading or downgrading. Our ships have been upgraded. So now I'm at four. I can afford three more. Let's just build two. I don't want to drop the alloys down too much because everything gets paused if you don't have the alloys for the initial upgrade cost. It will wait until you have the alloys and then start it. And that would just slow this down, so... Construction complete. Now I've got a second shipyard to speed things up. Almost a full year in. Now there's nothing stopping you from progressing normally. Send your science ship out and about change your policies, check your planet out, all that stuff, but it's not really necessary for this demonstration. So, I'm now at six. Back to lasers. It is working as far as the initial upgrade cost. It's everything after that that goes wonky. Our ships have been upgraded. So I now have enough for another two, keeping a healthy amount in reserve. I'm not going to pretend this is optimized, that I am doing this to the greatest effect of abuse, because I don't really want this glitch. It's too OP and it messes with things. Construction complete. It's one thing in one player where the only opponent is the AI and it's not smart enough to beat you anyway. It's something else entirely when you're playing multiplayer and you can't be sure if your opponents are using the glitch and you can be sure that you are whether you want to or not just because you will be upgrading your ships at one point and the only alternative of never upgrading your ships will put you at a Our disadvantage. Ships have been upgraded. I have just woken up so if I sound like an idiot that's why. My apologies. About a year and a half in now. Our ships have been upgraded. I'm up to eight corvettes. I've got 500 alloys. I can build more corvettes. Let's get four more going. I'll still have a l just enough to be a good reserve. <clears throat> Situation log updated. Oh, of course. Well, go get them, guys. We don't need traitors involving themselves in this demonstration. Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. Situation log updated. I'm not sure what that is. I don't care. All that matters is they die. Good, good. Go back. Repair. Find those sweets. Construction complete. And we'll keep going with this. Back to the mass drivers. And upgrade. 36 down. Yeah, there's 
definitely enough going on here to become an equation I have no interest in dealing with. Our ships have been upgraded. Maybe if I was getting paid for it, I would. Actually, I would have to because I was being paid for it. But I'm not, so... And we can afford to build a few more ships now. We'll do four. By the time these are done, I'll be back over 100 again. Oh, before they're done, I'll be back over 100 again. Over 200. Our ships have been upgraded. Do wish that they would build as fast as they upgraded, but what can you do? If you're looking to abuse the glitch, you're going to be wanting to be building more ships in between upgrades to increase the amount of alloys you're getting for every fleet upgrade, so... You'll have little bits of slowdown while you're building the ships, and then you'll come back to gaining tons of alloys when you're upgrading them again. And each time you start upgrading again, you'll be getting more than the last time because you've got more ships to do it with. Now about two and a half years in, I'm up to 14, well, 16 Corvettes in a few seconds here. Construction complete. I haven't done anything with research, I haven't done anything with my economy. All I'm doing is switching my ships from mass drivers to lasers and back again. And I'm gaining a whole bunch of alloys along the way. My alloy economy is actually dropping because my upkeep is going up. And yet, my alloy income is rising because I've got more ships to upgrade. ships have been upgraded. And at this point, we'll queue four more to make it an even 20. What a terrible leader. Our ships have been upgraded. Now, if you were getting a hundred percent refund and it was a glitch in the sense that you're just not losing anything, my alloys wouldn't be going up. They would go up with one of the upgrades when the ship attachments are classified as cheaper, and then they'd be going down with the other upgrade as those attachments are more expensive. And in the end, after two different upgrades, you would end up with the same amount of resources plus your monthly income. But that is clearly not happening. I'm gaining alloys regardless of whether it's an upgrade or a downgrade. I'm not sure if I'm getting more with an upgrade or more with a downgrade. As I've said, I'm too lazy to go into the hardcore math on this. I do math too much as it is. I don't need to do it in my free time. more coffee. There we go. About three and a half years in, I've got my fleet up to 20 Corvettes, and I've got very close to a thousand spare alloys, with a puny eight alloy per month income. Doing the math on that, that would be 96 alloys a year, so three years in, rounded to four years in, that's about 400 alloys, and yet I'm at 1.2 thousand. That's not really working out, is it? Well, we can keep going a little bit. 
I don't want to make this video too long. I'm just correcting the errors of my first video, which I'm embarrassed about, and demonstrating with absolute absolution that this is happening. That was not the right word to use, but whatever. The mere existence of this video shows that I am not a brilliant genius, that I am quite capable of making mistakes. And I'm okay with that. Kind of. Our ships have been upgraded. It is very annoying, but I'm human and I can't change that. So, it is what it is. I almost have enough alloys now to create a second fleet of 20 Corvettes. <laughs> And it's just about four years in that I will hit that mark. If I was sending my science ship around, about now I might be finding the first enemy AI. If I was going hard on this, I'd already be building my second fleet of 20 Corvettes. Actually, why not? Our ships have been upgraded. Can't do quite 20 right away. Can do 18. That is going to take a minute or so. I'm just recording this straight up on the PS4, so I don't have the ability to speed this video up without going through the software or the media. Can't remember what it's called. There is an app you can download that allows you to edit videos and I'm not going to bother doing that so I do apologize for the length of the video but I want to make absolutely sure that it's painfully clear what is happening here expecting my alloy income to go into the negatives by the time this fleet is done building. And yet it'll still be in the positives because I'm abusing a glitch that gives me infinite free alloys. So my actual monthly alloy income doesn't really matter. And this is taking forever. I really do apologize for that. Minerals don't matter, or damage doesn't matter, shields don't matter, I'm not going to bother. <clears throat> I am gaining enough alloys from this to cover my energy losses. But, I'm too lazy to actually do it. There it is. Three more. If my newly awoken brain isn't betraying my math.
last one. Construction complete. And now we've got two fleets to upgrade. My alloy income is now at zero. My energy income is really terrible. That'll put me back in the green. Minus 20 alloys per month. And yet, I still have an alloy income. Ridiculous. Our ships have been upgraded. An income that well outpaces the energy loss. By now I should probably have four or five systems under my control. Our ships have been upgraded. And if I was really pushing this, I'd have another star base with more shipyards on it. I'd have my one fleet at one star base, my other fleet at my other star base to speed this up to the maximum. But I'm not going for optimization here. I'm just going for demonstration purposes. And I'm repeating myself a few times over just to make it absolutely clear what's happening. You should be able to join at any point in this video and within two minutes see what's happening. And that it is indeed a glitch. Our ships have been upgraded. There's no way I should be gaining this much alloys when my alloy income is at negative 20. If I was really going to be pushing this hard, I'd have another shipyard on top of the two, well, another star base on top of the two that are shipyards, and that would have anchorages to reduce my fleet capacity. Or, wow, I said that totally wrong, to increase my fleet capacity and decrease the amount of resources I'm losing for being over capacity. <clears throat> can have three star bases at the beginning, so two for shipyards, one for anchorage. It's not going to give you a lot of capacity early game. You only get to add two of them on there. That would only give me plus four, so that would be plus eight. I'd still be ten over my capacity if I did that, but it would result in a bit less losses. Our ships have been upgraded. And it's at this point I could build a third fleet of 20 Corvettes six years into the game. I could have three fleets of 20 Corvettes 
there isn't an AI on the map who would ever be able to touch that. Anyone I find, I could just walk right over. 60 Corvettes, what are they going to do about 60 Corvettes six years into the game? They're just going to die. Now, of course, the problem is, if you send all 60 of your Corvettes after the enemy, you've got no ships to be giving you income from the glitch, which means you're going to run out of energy, you're going to run out of alloys, your minerals are going to get cut in half, and that's just going to be the beginning of the problem. So Our if you're abusing the glitch, the way to do it would be to always keep a fleet at home so that you're always able to keep gaining alloys, which means you would need about 60, so you'd have 40 to go out on the attack, or maybe even have 80 and have 60 go out on the attack. It rather depends what difficulty you're on. If you're playing on the easiest difficulty, Probably 20 Corvettes is going to be enough for you to walk all over the closest enemy. If not, 40 definitely will. Complete. If you're playing on Grand Admiral, well then it's going to be a bit different, especially if the scaling is off. At that point, 40 Corvettes may not actually be enough. 60 may be questionable. You might need the 80. But you can get them, so it's not that big of a deal. You can have 100 Corvettes. 200 Corvettes. It's going to be hurting your income, but you're gaining free alloys with every upgrade. If you want to push things real hard, you could just do this until you've got about 15,000 alloys in the bank, which will give you a lot of wiggle room for your campaign. It would still be advisable to keep a fleet at home, but I don't even know why I'm advising how to abuse this glitch the best, because I just want this gone. It's too much. I enjoy finding glitches, I enjoy abusing them under the right circumstances, but I get very bored with glitches. It's too easy, it dumbs down the game too much, and I no longer have as much fun playing it. I try to avoid this when I'm actually playing the game, I only upgrade my ships when I have to. And if it's possible, at the time, if I'm not too busy, I'll throw the extra alloys away trade them off for energy and then trade it off again and again to try and minimize how much profit I'm gaining out of the upgrade. Our ships have been upgraded. But there is no avoiding it. You're going to be getting a ton of free alloys. I have no idea how long this video has gone on for now. It's probably 20-30 minutes. I do very much apologize if you're still watching it. I just wanted to be absolutely sure that it was absolutely obvious how broken this is. I can't say it makes the game unplayable. If you're aware of the glitch and you're taking the steps necessary to mitigate it, you can mitigate it. You can only upgrade when you have to. If you've got an upgrade but there's another tech in the lines a few months down the road or a year or two down the road you can just wait until both the upgrades are done before upgrading the fleet you can dispose of alloys and whatever other resources you acquire this method by giving them to AIs or just retrading them in the trading market until Our ships have been upgraded. the loss from trades equals out with the gain from the upgrades but it's steps you shouldn't have to take. You shouldn't have to be penalizing yourself because the game is giving you an unfair advantage. That's just too much effort. I do believe though that at this point I've demonstrated this sufficiently. I now have enough alloys I could build another 40 Corvettes. 39, 38, basically 40. 40 once this fleet's done upgrading probably. Our ships have been upgraded. Yep. So, well, not quite 40, but not far off. Which would bring me up to 80 Corvettes. I'm not even 10 years into the game, and I could have 80 Corvettes within the next three years, well, the next two years, very easily. I'm pretty sure that's going to be sufficient to demonstrate to anyone who, like me, is too lazy to have bothered doing the math while I did the original video. 
I do apologize for the mistakes I made in the original video. If I'd spent a couple minutes beforehand instead of just jumping into it in a rush, I would have been able to compensate for those errors and make it much more crystal clear. But at the very least, I'm doing this to make up for those errors and make it quite obvious that even though I made errors, the point of the video was still true. There is a glitch, you can get infinite free alloys, and all you have to do is upgrade your ships. I hope you all have a great day. Signing out.